Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see about fill color, right? So, what is this fill color? In the previous session, we have seen this, right? Percentage fill. So, whenever I am going for the percentage fill, there is a only one option like background color is black or whatever color you are choosing here, okay? So, it will be in the beginning. Whenever you are increasing or decreasing the slider, this black color will be uh, you know completely reducing and it will be showing the original color of the object correct that is fine so what is this fill color so if you want to give some specific color to the object whenever you are filling or whatever it is you can make use of this fill color okay so just click on the object for which one you want to give this fill color it will be changing the color of the object okay so just go for this and you are having discrete and analog here. Go for discrete. Choose the tag which one you want to give. Okay. So you are having two options. One is discrete expression. Another one is this analog. Just see discrete fill color, analog fill color. Discrete fill color means for the particular object if you are giving digital parameter uh, means that is discrete. Or uh, if you are giving some analog parameters like slider or something means that will be analog got it so just go for discrete choose the tag i'm going to choose sw1 fine and for true what color for, for false what color that is the one so just go for red or oh, just go for green for on just go for red for zero this one is exactly similar to the appearance we have seen the appearance we have seen no, initially the, for this one. See, this one we have seen a fill color. Same thing. Same thing we are having in animation property. That's it. Nothing different. It's, uh, it's exactly same. See, if I go online, it's in red color now because switch is zero. Change the switch. It changed the color. Fine. It is exactly similar to this one. See. If you turn off, it is changing to red color. Fine. So, if you do, yeah. Same thing you are having in this place. See, like this. Fine. So, this is discrete. Then what will be the analog? Okay, let's see that. So, for analog, I am going to take this level as a slide, slider as a level. Okay. Go for it. Disable this discrete. Go for analog. Okay, click on that. Once you click, it will take you to the dialog box. So here it is having an analog expression. Analog expression is nothing but our analog tag. So choose this level. And break points it is asking. What is this break point means in InTouch? It is giving some options like whenever you are changing the slider from 0 to 100, it is having various range, right? 0 to 100, 100 to 20, like that you are split. You can split the range. For each and every range, you can give some specific colors. Okay. For example, see here, from 0 to 10, I want some color. You can give, uh, starting it will be red. So, from 10 to 20, it will be green. You can change like that. See, multiple colors you can change. But the order you are going to give towards right side, no, that should be in an increasing order. It should not be decreasing. And there is no, you know, equal, uh, uh, you know, difference need to be there. Not like that. It should be increasing order. See, I have given 30. Then I have given to 50. Now I can go for 80. Like that you can give. Okay. That should be within our slider range. Now I am giving some different color for this 20, for 30. I am also giving different color. Like that you can choose according to the requirement. Okay. While going online, you can get to know better. Okay, just wait on. Yeah, choose something here. Let it be green again. Okay. 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 There are multiple locations here. Fine. Go for runtime. Now it is in red color because I have given for zero. It is red. Fine. So increase this. You can change the color. Yeah, it is green. See. It is again changed when it crossed 20, when it is nearer to 20, not crossed 20, okay. Now we are crossing 20, see, 
ആ ഫോർ തേർട്ടി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇറ്റ് കളർ യാ യെസ് അഗെയിൻ യാ ചേഞ്ചിങ് ന യെസ് ഗോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ നോട്ട് ടേക്ക് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഫോർ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഐ തിങ്ക് വി ഹാവ് ഗിവൺ ഗ്രീൻ കളർ ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് ദ നയൻറ്റി ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഓക്കെ സൊ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് കളർ ഇസ് ഫോർ അബവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് നൗ അവർ സ്ലൈഡർ റേഞ്ച് ഇസ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് വൺ ലിനോ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മെയിൻറ്റെയിനിങ് ദ നയൻറ്റി ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ദാറ്റ് പിങ്ക് കളർ ഫൈൻ ദറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രീൻ കളർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ടേക്കിംഗ് ബിക്കോസ് വി ആർ നോട്ട് ക്രോസിങ് ദി ഹൺഡ്രഡ് സൊ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഫിൽ കളർ ഓപ്ഷൻ കെൻ യു സി ഓക്കെ ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഗോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് കളർ ഫോർ ദ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട് സി ഫോർ ദ യു നോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് ദ ഓബ്ജെക്ട് ഇസ് ദിസ് മച്ച് സൈസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് സൊ വിത്ത് ദിസ് വി ക്യാൻ ഡു വൺ തിങ് ഐ ഷോ യു വാട്ട് ഇഫ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ മെർജിങ് ദിസ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഫിൽ വിത്ത് ഫിൽ കളർ ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ് സി ഫോർ വെർട്ടിക്കൽ ഐ എം ജസ്റ്റ് ഗിവിങ് ലെവൽ ഓക്കെ for level i'm just giving like this let it be as 100 here okay direction is down background color is this one i have given so initially it will be in the yellow color so what i'll do i'll just put it as white go for okay so now what i'm, I'm going to do i'm just percentage fill with the fill color i'm giving okay so without percentage fill it was completely filling the object now if you are giving percentage fill also let's see what is happening it is in white color initially increase the slider yeah so it is coming from up to down now it is green color no now it is again changing color can you see the changes in color for the particular it's not changing for complete okay for the complete object it is not changing it is depends upon the percentage fill percentage fill also we have given no like that yes like this fine we'll do one thing we'll change the direction we'll change the direction to up okay up and uh, go for okay go for okay and just take symbol factory go for yeah go for pipe option it's loading wait pipe where is pipe yeah here it is just take hmm take this keep it here you just keep it here it's like something is filling this tank imagine there is a tank and something is filling you can extend the pipe also okay so it is like filling the tank just go on line now check it is like the tank is filling got it so like that you can make use of your fill percentage and percentage color depends upon the requirement you can change the colors also if you are giving the same color it will looks good no see i have given some different colors so if you are giving the same color it will be looks like one particular liquid is filling in the tank through this pipe so like this only they are making the animations okay so whenever you are combining uh, two or more uh, animation link in the same application you can build some good projects fine see i have merged percentage fill and fill color got it same thing you can go for horizontal also just practice this in the software i'll meet you in the next session with this line color what is this line color and all we'll see in the next session fine yes bye